call the meeting to order. All right, anybody have any questions about minutes from last month's meeting? Two months ago. And what is it they need? An update on the plugins? Yeah, they need a redo. Plug for the plug. They're old. They're old. And yeah, I called and then I called again. Mm -hmm. Is she involved with the. Uh, I, I think she's on town board. Now. Yeah. Or the, yeah, she's at the community yeah. center. Yeah. Yeah. The community yeah. center yeah. Right. meeting tonight, so she wanted to know. Well, good. Yeah. So they've got some new people. I think you've called him three times, which is not unusual to get something done. Maybe we need to call him a little more firmer. You need to call him again tomorrow. <laughs>
Citizens here. Police report. Sewer plant operations. Fill us in on what you know. I know you're not darling early. I'm not. I'm a little bit younger. Um, it's still, everything's in compliance. And best of my knowledge, I think Darlene got the response back for the idea of inspection. In the last few days? I think so. That she's coming, or? No, she already came. Oh, she's been here? Oh, yeah, she already uh, came. Yeah. When was she here, Doug? That I can't answer. I mean, within the last week or two? Oh, yeah. Oh, April as well. It was in April. April. Oh, okay. Uh, is she due time. again? Yeah. No, she just, she busted us open on the other day. Just nitpicking. And things that she don't know nothing about, obviously. So have we satisfied what she wanted? No, why does that get well? Yeah. well? She was working on the response. Yeah. And I believe the response is done. I okay, I thought Darlene told me that yeah. she was almost done. With it. Yeah. And that was a week ago. I know. I saw her with Darlene last week. Last week I saw her you know, it was. Yeah. And she was working on it then. And she, 
she won't come out and say she feels that she might be. Nitpicking. Oh, I think she is. Oh, I agree. Uh, but like I said, Darlene would go that far. And you had made a comment to me earlier when we talked a little bit about it, but about requesting a new inspector. Who you request that through? Uh, Her supervisor. She's got to have somebody over her. Don't we all? Yeah, why is it? Why is it? Well, I would like to talk to her supervisor about it and see if we need to request that and, and tell that person uh, exactly how we feel of what's going on. Uh, it's, it's kind of funny to me that for <coughs> over a year uh, we had a certified operator signing religiously and we did what we paid him for but at the same time he never was out there and never got run up for anything. So that, that makes me lean towards maybe she is kind of nitpicking a little bit or, or uh, showing her power maybe because there's another I don't know. That, that would be a good question for her yeah. supervisor. And I'd like to maybe if, if I can find out who that is and schedule a a meeting with them, uh, have you involved too? No, always. If you need, we have an executive session. But I don't, I don't want to think we should have to put up with that at all. Yeah. Okay. Is that all you got? It's all good? Yeah. One question I had too. Yes. It's not flipped. What? You, it's not flipped yet. Turned over. Turned over? I went to the dumpster. Well, that's good. I mean, I was just. Well, I know it always hand every year. It hand. I don't blame you. You take care of it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Facilities coordinator report. That's you. My code is running. Great. It sounded good. The motor sounded good. Oh, it's, it's it right. runs great. Smooth. Mm -hmm. no, no hose leaks, no hot dog. No, we do have a couple of hoses and one cylinder that's uh, a couple of hoses that are going to be replaced and a cylinder that's leaking. Isn't that kind of like routine maintenance? It is. It's even on newer yeah, equipment. Yeah, just yeah, with the equipment. Four years old, it's pretty good shape. Yeah. I mean, you know. Just well, and about, we've, we've changed some hoses, yeah. about all of them, but... Yeah, there's like four or five of them left that have not been changed. Um, and we just kind of baby until... Hey, Bo, we know how to get it fixed. I saw you trimming the trees along Water Street. Yes. I haven't had my little guy come who does from my driveway all the way down to the stop sign. Gets all that stuff off the creek bank. I haven't had it come yet. Um, have you notice the trees that are going to, if we get a bad right there along the edge of my property, oh, what a mess that's going to be. Okay. Yeah, they're coming this way. Well, that, that whole bank is slowly but surely I, sliding. And I said years ago that at some point it's going to be a road underneath that road and that road. The road's just going to slide right on down. Exactly. Yeah. You can already when you drive uh, We don't down, have the possibility a ourselves that to do it. It's huge. <laughs> Doug, do they need taken out? The, the trees. trees, or should we just wait to see what happens? See what happens. But we we don't have the capability to. They're so big. Yeah, well, getting getting on the other side of them to move them, and, yeah, we just oh, wait till they come too. down. And, do that or we open ourselves up for when we have issues with the creek and stuff instead of uh, There's Rick. Uh, people are supposed to take yeah. care of it, they were after taken care of We were looking for you. Oh. Yeah. Who's going to see your phone with you? Huh? I'd have to talk to the wife. Oh, sorry. No, I thought, no, wait, no, wait, she just... The signs and the signposts finally have come. In fact, they just came in today. Yeah. 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 Sign posts, we were working on sign posts, okay. put that other sign up. Oh, I wondered. Okay. Yeah. We've got one up. we got one up. We're waiting on posts. Breakaway posts. Right? Breakaway. We finally got it. Good. And that's autistic. Child. Yes. And then we got the signs to replace the ones that have been graffitied. The 
anymore since the graffiti and the fire? I haven't. I haven't found anything. anything. Just them one signs that were. I tried cleaning them off with the stuff I got and it started dissolving everything. Started. Yeah, now you can't use it. Let's do that. No, it doesn't say stop, it says yeah. Yeah. Okay, Bob's not here. Anything else, Doug? The Sylvie's? I know you're working on this bank. Are you working on the bank? Exactly what are you doing out there? Yeah. Extending that bank out. And you the erosion that's happening in the driveway. And you're going to put riprap on the side. You're going to put on the, so on the outside of the bank to keep that from washing out there. Now, do you have to put stakes or mesh down in there? Yeah, riprap will lock itself in there and hold it. Um, getting uh, Probably next week, Wayne's going to pour the form that he made for up there on uh, Maple. So we get that poured so we can get it out the back hose up and live it again. We can cut that out and fix it. So that's on the agenda. Yeah, the front of house. You say the frame that he built? Yeah, he's getting ready to pour it for the collection box. Okay. The pour for a collection box. Okay, anybody got anything else for Doug? We'll move on to the police report. Oh, we didn't approve the minutes, did we? Yeah, we did. You know the minutes, but are you willing to make a motion to approve these or not? Is it necessary? Yeah, I'll make the motion we approve Doug's verbal report. Second. Darlene's double report. Motion approved is made and seconded. All in favor say aye. All posts say the same. Thanks, Rick. Good job. Go. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, the uh, brown car we got done into the fire department. Uh, radar got removed, so and I think we took out some more lights. Doug helped me kind of gut things out, so it worked out kind of kind of good. We just Took all the stuff out. And he's gonna, Doug's gonna finish taking out, taking off either the red or the blue, which is better how, how they, how they want to do it. I think you want to keep the red, ain't you? So. Nothing we can use. I took out anything that I thought that I'd be, have some some value to it. But, uh, the tiles and registration <coughs> arrived for, for both the vehicles. Um, Manita's got them. Uh, I got a, I got the, the uh, I got. Got some basic lights and, and a siren that that was all donated from state surplus. We had that, so uh, I did have to buy a controller box, you know, for like the switching. Uh, had to buy that there at Safety Systems. Scott uh, Scott Blunt, and uh, I bought that and then done the kind of done the wiring ourselves. So, uh, uh, the uh, Go, go look at the uh, 2011 Avenger. Use that for training and uh, other uh, 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 other functions. Uh, uh, at some point, uh, talking with Anita, she's trying she's trying to get a copy of the what do you call it? Uh, the, take home policy. Yeah, take home policy. So uh, we'll get one and have it either for August or se September. I don't see it being us. Right, so we we're going to try to find like not, uh, Hagerstown or Sugarville, someone that's got one and just kind of copy it. If we can, otherwise uh, we got to get out. But no hurry for it because I'm still, I'm still getting the car together, the Dodge. So um, I got the radio program, just got to get it back and get it put in. So it's going to be a month or two, so we're in no hurry for it. Is that it. why the one car is not here very often? Which one? There's one covered and one not covered. Yeah, the one that's not covered has been getting stuff done to it, like the lights, the windows got tinted, tinted today. So I didn't off. know if it was in the whole barn no. or if it was just on the... No, just just getting stuff to it little by little. Okay. Uh, 
And we're point. keeping both of those cars? Yes. Is that correct? They're not behind here. Yeah. And then we'll try go is, is to get rid of the white car. Either donate it to another department or just outright sell it. What about it. the brown ones? Brown ones are already donated. Well, the paperwork's here for the brown ones. We have to have... The same as gone. We have yeah. to have a... Um, Do you hear the resolution? Yeah. yeah, it's here. <laughs> Since you but he already right. took the brown car to get it kind of out of the way because it was in the way just parked here. So. Yeah. So you know that it's $2,000 a year for those two new cars and insurance. Right. Right? You've been told? Okay. Yeah, we discussed it. All right. Let's make sure. <laughs> Yeah, $2,000. Yeah, so we yeah, so we want to get we want to get the the uh, white card pipe going as soon as possible. Yes, please. How are you going to sell that thing? Uh, like you've done in the pack. And if we can't sell, find a, sm a small department that can use it, that can use it like it was gave to us. Then we got to depot public. Yeah, you can take the lights <laughs> off and then sell it. Oh, you it won't still be a police car. We can even sell it to an individual. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm sure like Doug or one of his relatives probably could use it. I think that gray one they bought five years ago about done. It would be nice if we could pay it forward to another place. Say again. Honestly, it would be nice if you've seen that. I didn't hear you. We can't hear you. It would be nice to pay it forward to another police department. Okay, thank you. That's why you can't hear me. Yes. Good I idea. Told, I totally agree, Brenda. If we can, if we can find an agency somewhere that, that can use a fully marked police car, it's got all pretty much got the stuff in it, all I got to do is just put a person in it, that'd be great. Uh, or uh, we could keep the white one and get rid of that little silver one that you was going to drive back and forth on. It's already got everything on it. See buddy, that's why you're poor president. That's right. I'm sorry. Fireworks. Fireworks. Uh, Couple complaints, you know, just prior to prior to uh, Fourth of July, but there was adults with the with, with, with the group of kids. So, but I went, I walked down there anyway. They were doing it. They were doing it out in time on the side of the road. There it wasn't really no, it wasn't really causing a problem. They got out of the way when traffic came by. Uh, and the the radio that was donated is. Uh, uh, it's getting it's getting programmed. That's the guy. From another police department that uh, is programming the radio for us but for no cause, so we're getting that done. There's one that came out of a, uh, out of a police car, a uh, state police car. Uh, got got the, a, a used computer mount and a printer uh, to be installed in the in the charger. Uh, the charger has the, the window ten today. Went and picked it up. Uh, Kelly out of not Kelly, yeah, Sean Kelly out of Hagerstown. He does it. Uh, and uh, I mean, it looks, uh, it looks real good. Hopefully, none of the other interiors will start to warp and we'll get that at some point. Okay, get, just go to a junkyard in Richmond or wherever and just try to find a door panel and just swap it out and be done with it. It's, it's kind of warped and kind of separating from the top where the, the guy parked in the sun, it looks like. So it's just, uh, issued some uh, yeah, uh, curfew it. warnings to to some of the to some of the girls that I was seeing out late at night. I haven't heard any more talk about the, them girls being seen out late at night anymore. So hopefully it's. And how did you know who it was, Rick? Right? What? The girls. Because you got people complaining, and you got people and got people that have cameras that you know, like you know, Walt Houston. And they, they got cameras. How were they responsive to that? Parents. Their parents, their kids do no wrong. I can tell you this, my mom didn't play that game. She knew I was up to, I was doing stuff wrong. Street lights <laughs> come on, you better be heading to the house. Yeah, it was, <laughs> we had to be in yelling distance. That was our rule, we had to be in yelling distance. We had to be within whistle distance. And my dad could blow a whistle time to through go. his teeth like you wouldn't believe. And, and, then, the first time. and then, then we had, uh, um, a vehicle, vehicle fire is behind the fire station, and the state fire marshal is investigating now. So. Do we have any clues on that yet? No, nah, not not really. It's it's still go, we're still going through different different uh, different avenues of, of uh, checking things. So 
And what is the policy on these dogs running loose? How many warnings do they get and when do they get fined? Well, what's the dog running loose now? Not now. Oh, well, usually when I go talk to them, that's their first encounter with me. So if people see dogs and they never, they never, like, like you, you'll call me, but somebody else won't call me. They'll just they let it run loose and it runs loose and runs loose and runs loose. And then after about the 10th time, then they're calling you or calling Buddy or Rick. Well, when I see a dog charging somebody on the other side of the street, somebody's going to get hurt what? of the older people. That's why I would recommend anyone call 911 when you got a dog that's charging the person. Most, some, people, some older people carry guns with them. So are they ever fined by us? If they do not, if, uh, if it... If that same dog continues. And here's the other thing. How do we know they've had their shots? I ask them and they ask them to show proof. But I typically only do Excuse that when me. the dogs are aggressive. Nice, friendly dogs don't really get on my radar. If and who was the owner you spoke to, a male or a female? For which? The, the white dog? dog? Yeah. That girl. Oh, she was there. No, I called her on the phone. Uh, I went to Josh's house next door and got and got her phone number and called her. She was on her way. She was, she just got off work and was on her way home. I said she's got a cable strung up like a leader, a big log between trees. And I said you're gonna have to figure something where them dogs ain't getting wrapped around these trees. Cause well, they get, they get down to about five feet, but the one still runs loose 24 seven. It's loose this morning. It's never been hooked up. So about that would be the female dog. That's correct. That's that one is never. But is, is, is she a puppy it, dog over there too? Yes. Is she out of the yard though? Is the question. Occasionally. Because I stopped and talked to the neighbors that day, and they said that the the male dog that, that's usually chained up, he's the one that will get up and he's he'll oh. be everywhere. And they said that the female dog they never see leave the yard. I said okay, that's fine. I mean. She seems a lot, lot more relaxed than the, than the male dog. Well, and They're he, friendly dogs. Both of them are friendly dogs. The next step is winter coming shelter. Well, because when I went there, both dogs were under the house. I, yeah. I think they've been in that barn, too. Oh, she's, I wondered. We saw her hook, hook them up front. Yeah. There's like that lattice, and they're inside, like under the porch or whatever. That's where, that's where I've seen them. I'm, I'm, these are big dogs. They weigh, I don't know, probably 100. 20, well, right. the female's in terrible shape, though. She's so cr crippled. Oh, crippled? Oh, yeah. You should see her getting up and down. Where? She be inside. It's her uh, hips. Uh, oh, it was. it's a big dog. That's the problem you're going to have with big dogs like German Shepherd. The hips. Big lambs eat the hips. Yeah. 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 big, white. What kind of dogs are they? I don't know. They, they look like yeah. your park wolf. They're big, but they're not, dog. though. They're they're a breed of dog. But are they long-haired? Mm-hmm. Shepherds or are they? I don't know about shepherds, but they're look. I don't know, but they're they're big. Newfoundlands. That's yeah. Well, I've had to guess. I mean, what did you say, Rick? Newfoundlands. Something that's similar to that. The ones that chase to keep the cows and everything safe as well. They're just. Well, that's the what's the sky out here? The llama place. What's there? It's called. Yeah, what are they? They are big. Can't recall. Quite but, but, just always tell people is, if they think a dog is vicious, they need to dial 911. If it's just a, a dog running loose, not causing a problem, they need to call my call my office in there and leave, leave a voicemail. So that way, I at least know, hey, when I come on duty, you know, because uh, yeah, because she's going to start, you know, she's going to start um, accumulating tickets if she's not going to leave her dog loose. I mean. Her dog is, is left loose like that, and she continues to run loose. Great Pyrenees. Mm -hmm. Great Pyrenees. Pyrenees, that's right. But I don't, they're, I don't they're, think... They're, they're big dogs. I don't know. They're big. I haven't seen them. They're both the same breed, it looks like. Our ordinance uh, covers kind of final men. Yeah, yeah. All that set up there. So. But, but, but I mean, uh, since I went and talked to him, you haven't seen the dog the dog off the property, have you? Okay. The male, no. The one that's chained up. The one that's chained up, no. 
Well, if he, I mean, if he, if either one of them's getting loose, that's still a problem. But well, the one was the other one the, came the toward me this morning, but he did come all the way over to the front of my garage where I was giving him my car. But he was seeing somebody out there was barking and come that way, and I just pointed at him like, huh? Stop. Yeah, yeah. But that he was the chain, and that's the thing. That that's, was the female. The thing is, the way our ordinance reads is that they can't be running loose. If they're out, they got to be on a chain, a leash, or something minimum of 15 feet. Correct? Yeah. Well, their leash is more than 15 foot. Yeah, but if they're not well, up to it, it, it may back. start out at 15. By the middle of the morning, it's down to five. They can't Cause leave. Because they're wrapped, or because they're getting wrapped. But, yeah, but definitely, definitely. You know, if you guys see something, you guys will be sending me a text saying, I just hey. don't want anybody to get hurt. Right. But I talked to all the, I talk, I, I talked to people across the street, obviously Josh, and their story was that it's almost always the male that you see out doing his thing, and whenever he gets loose, he breaks free, because you can tell that, that leash contraption has been broken in numerous spots, they just kind of tie it together and it needs like a... And she picked these dogs up down at McDonald's at Christmas time when it got so cold. Well, they are in the right place, but you can't afford dogs like that to, to, to maintain them right. You probably shouldn't keep them. Well, they're not vicious in the no. The male can't You don't be. know until it... You won't know if... One, what Kathy's saying is that if one wants to charge to somebody, you won't know it's vicious until they make the contact. And them dogs are... <laughs> That's like the I said, them dogs will run you over. If, they, oh, yeah. if there was a... Big dog, but yeah, if they start, you know, you know if they ever get a call where they're they're actually being vicious towards someone, if I'm on duty, I don't do how the, how the sheriff's department does it. Them dogs get confiscated, we we'll begin to kennel, and we'll be calling and making arrangements for them. Well, a lot of times when you find somebody, when they're vicious, when you find somebody, they're going to come back and be try a little bit harder. Yeah. Here and all the shelters in Richmond are still full, correct? The last week. Last time, yeah, Henry picked somebody from Henry County comes and picks them up. I did get a call one time at the at home, and uh, a lady said uh, she saw a dog running loose, and she wanted uh, wanted to know if we could pick it up. And this was like on a Friday, and I said, "What you need to understand: if we pick up a dog, we will put it in there, and we will." out on social media say we've got this dog if it's yours please come get it we make sure it's got food and water i said but the next monday we're going to call the dog catcher people they're going to take that dog to newcastle and you know whatever length of time newcastle keeps them they're going to keep them and they're going to put that dog down i know that's why there are kill shelters and she said oh i don't want anything to happen to it i said then buy the toy and then get it. your animal spayed and neutered Okay, Mr. Barker. Yeah. Who? Barker. Bob Barker. Bob Barker. Bob Barker. <laughs> yeah. he, he probably said that for 30 years, didn't he? Yeah, he did. <laughs> so that's that's uh, um, pretty much just a. Now Saturday, I've got uh, I got stop sticks training. So you don't know what stop sticks are. I do. The state trooper got killed last week up in Indianapolis on the west side. He was using stop stick, but he was not using the appropriate way. He was trying to run up and throw, it, throw the stop sticks in front of the car. You don't do that. You get way in front of the car and you throw it across the road and then you drag it back in front of it. You, don't, you, you never put yourself out in the traffic. This is a classic case where he was just wanting to get in front of that car so bad to get it stopped. But well, and another officer was just killed. He had a prisoner in the car. And he Choked him to death with this. Yeah, yeah, and I'm, I'm still wondering about that. Why would a sheriff's department send a suspected murderer to a, a doctor's appointment and only send one guard? Well, he's got him in a patrol car. How yeah, come he doesn't have a screen? Yes, it was a van. It was a van he was in. He wasn't shackled. He should have been shackled. I'm not, I don't know what happened. He should have been shackled on the sides. But you should have had two guards. You know, you 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 get a guy in for murder. He has nothing to lose. Well, I guess now they're going they're going to go with the death penalty if they if they get a conviction, which they will. But that that means twenty years later. Well, when that female officer was she killed or just injured this week on a domestic? No, she was killed up here in Tell City. Yeah, Tell City. Yeah, she got shot. So it's just 
not been a good week for law enforcement. Though. But uh, got training, tra training. You know, I haven't done training probably in like almost 20 years on stop sticks. When they first came out, we had a, we had a training lab. That's what because you know we don't really use them here in Greensport. But there's a certain there's, on how you apply it, how you throw it. When you when you when you use them, you don't use them on motorcycles. Do you like, have them? Do, do we have them? stop sticks? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. I've had I've, I've, they've been in the, 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 the truck forever. Okay. So. You never know who's gonna come to town and not need. Yeah. So okay. other than that though. Anybody got any more questions for Rick? Make a motion we accept Rick's police report. Second. Motion to make the property second to accept Rick's police report. All the say aye. Aye. All opposed say the same. Thank you, Rick. Nita, sewer utility, monthly income and disbursements. Make a motion we accept Nita's uh, report. Second. Motion has been made proper second. Uh, to accept the report. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say the same.
Well, that's stationed long, but yeah, they got that up, up tight. Sprayed weeds on town property. Worked on water line for tanker fill. Is that up and running and everything's good? And Oh, that's where it broke over here. Yes. Okay. Test sample to Muncie for the water? No, for the sludge. We couldn't, we couldn't get uh, <coughs> approved for Randolph Farms because Kent House literally sold his business as far as the dewatering box. So because it was a new business, we had to retest for Randolph Farms. So we have to get samples up to Muncie and have them tested. Who bought him? I think it was his daughter. Son-in-law. Oh. Son-in-law. Oh. Somebody. The, one, the son-in-law took the porta potty. I think the daughter took the, the dumpsters. I'm sure. Or one way or the other. I don't remember how it went. Okay, the weed eat at South Main along the curb. Hey, that's him. Yeah, I've got to put in the food. Excuse me? That's him. I've got to put in the food. Oh. Oh. Well, I wrote a that's couple fine. things on it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it's picked up weed eater head Menards for drain pipe. Do you know what that might have been? Uh, the, the head didn't get a good head. Good, man. Good, good head for weed eater. Spray weeds, spray weeds, go lift stations, got lens and alley between main and green, power wash the office, power wash the inside the fuel shed, picked up ground clear at Ace Hardware, something. And this got brought up. I noticed the dog pens need. Pressure moisture trade down back there. They're not real bad like they were, but they are awesome. I'd appreciate that. Uh, got limbs mowed grass at the plant. This is way. Uh, picked up railroad crossing. Pick up paint for the railroad crossing. For the road. Yeah, so I'm guessing. Trim work in fuel shed cleaned up after duck. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. Cleaned up after duck. Now you don't know where anything's at if they cleaned it up. Do you? Yeah, that's pretty much. They picked up your tools, didn't they? An old oil to burn pit pile. Go grass. Picked up starter for tobacco. Help Doug with tobacco. Looks like they've been doing the regular business plus what any extra that you've had them doing. Uh, fixed pipe. Something. 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 I got it. Yeah. Not colder. Warmer. Kathy's getting cold. Work in shop in a round building. Help split tobacco. Went to advanced parts and flywheel parts. Three loads of limbs from town to the plant. Load fill at the plant. Load this lot over here. Of course, those are going to get mowed once a week anyway, so we're in the middle. Gilman's full plywood and plants. Blue. Yeah. Blue. Yeah. Blue. 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 Blue.
house. Street park. Uh, oh, I can see it when we do the warrants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion we accept that report that was turned in. A the second. verbal report. I mean. Motion been made proper second to accept the report. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say the same. Thank you. Storm drain at Maple Street, we just talked about that. We got the wood to make the frame. Frame's already made. Right. We just got a port. Do you have any idea when you be able to do that pretty soon? Yeah. It's on the agenda. It's on the And the roof out there, the frame is too good. The roof, now that the back is fixed, uh, it will assist in putting chimneys up there. That's great. That's when the blessing does. <laughs> and the artistic yeah. signs for East Pearl are in. You'll get them up. There's one's already up, isn't one's it? One's already up, yeah. Mm -hmm. Get the other one up. I'd like to stay first on the agenda if possible to do that. It'd be quick and easy. New business, ordinance. 2-2023, establishing opioid fund restricted. Okay. We, have, we haven't received it yet, but according to the letter that you got from uh, Wayne County, we would be receiving some restricted. It was such a low amount, it had to go through the county for them to distribute to us. So we do need an ordinance for it. And, uh, How much money are we looking at? Um, oh, is that six, all? 657, yeah. Well, but that's one of, uh, and there's going to be 18 payments over 14 years or so. Uh, yeah, let's see. <laughs> I told of uh, $1,332 over 18 years is the unrestricted. $1,332 over 18 years. We just got half of it. No, th this is restricted here. This is 657 <laughs> <laughs> Ordinance 2 23, establishing opioid fund restricted. Town of Greens Fort finds it necessary to set up a separate fund to properly account for the pending receipt of certain funds as participating as a participating political subdivision from a national settlement with Johnson and Johnson, Amerisource Bergen, Cardinal Health, and McKees McKesson relating to opioid prescriptions and addiction and whereas the statute on the opioid litigation and settlements can be found in Indiana Code 4615. These funds are settlement funds paid to the state from pharmaceutical companies and should not be confused with federal or state grants and whereas the funds shall be maintained in a fund that has been created with the following number and name 2257 opioid settlement restricted. Whereas this fund shall be used for treatment, education, and prevention programs for opioid use disorder and any co-occurring substance use disorder or mental health issues shall monitor the use of these funds and provide an annual report to the Office of the Secretary of Family and Social Services not later than a date determined by the Office of the Secretary of Family and Social Services, all of which is passed, adopted, and approved by the Town Council of Greens Fork, Indiana on this 13th day of July, 2023. I put that in there. I haven't yeah. did that. So, do we need to put that in the form of a motion or is that just a... Um, we need a motion to approve that, yes. I'll make the motion that we do approve it, man. We, we're signing it. And here, if you want to look at the uh, IC on that, I got you. And you need the second for that. Oh, didn't you second it? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Motion has been made proper and seconded. All in favor say aye. And we're going to need a resolution 1-2023 uh, to 
transfer that law enforcement vehicle or the yes. brown vehicle? The brown. Okay. The brown vehicle. To the fire department. And, and also, I went ahead and done one for the fire department, except for the two. For back to school? Here is the one for you guys to sign. If you want to leave that other one, fine. But that will go to the fire department. We'll give it to you. And you have to have it back. We have to have a copy of it, okay? And you can have the original if you need a copy. I've been It's not an order. Resolution 1, 2023, I'm not going to read it word for word. It's basically saying that brown car that we have received from Wayne County, uh, how many years have we had that? Yeah. That's why they're trying to say, is there on this thing? Did I have hair in that picture? I probably got that in 12 or 13. <laughs> it's been a while. We built, yeah. You know, uh, five or six years at least, all right? Yeah. Oh, more than that. At least. I've got a Tom Raper shirt on. Five or six. Yep. <laughs> so it's been before that because Bill was home. So it's been probably close to 10 years. I think 10 years anyway. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so me. we got good use out of it, and I'd like to think that uh, Wayne County Commissioners and the uh, Sheriff's Department would be pleased to know that we did. Uh, give it, donate it to another community entity that does good things. And basically this just starts the, the year, of the, it was a 2004 Ford or sedan, VIN number. Uh, like I say, we received it. Uh, it was good for a long time. Uh, we did have to put some money in it, last minute kind of thing, which that's the price of doing business. So it went to a good home. Hopefully they can use it and get uh, as much use out of it as we did. So I'll make a motion we accept this resolution uh, that we gave that to the fire department. A second. Motion been made and properly seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 All folks say the same. Sign it and then we will need to get a copy of the back. Yeah. Can you sign it? I probably can. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. I don't know. He probably can sign no. it, can he? Because no. he's. Right. Yeah, because he is. So long. Well, August. August yeah. the same. signed by them and used to Becky Cool put that on file. Yeah, we have to have a copy of that. And we need a copy of that. What date do you want it dated? It's already gone, so we better... Mm -hmm. uh, we need a date. Yeah, I'm just asking what date you want on it, it's not a big deal. It's got to go to the board anyway. Yeah, it's Jan, got to go to the board to sign it. Jan and Louie and... Becky had to sign it anyway, so. Hi, darling. Okay. Is this for that copy? Rico? Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. Um, I have a new quote. Yes, ma'am. Because this one's expired. And it's actually a little bit cheaper than what we're paying. We're paying 38 from Jason now, and this is 32 a change. You're talking monthly? Yeah. Uh, just for a service agreement, maintain the printer? Everything, you know, yeah. Uh, it's for 60 months. And uh, we get free toner with it. They get free service with it. If something happens to it, I call them. Free toner. Free toner? Yeah. 
That's hard to do. Now, you pay for uh, copies, which only run maybe six or seven dollars a month or something. Like, didn't we? And it's not a bad deal. Now, she said, you know, look, you guys approved this question, it's in the contract for your sign, the council to sign. It's cheaper than the last five year contract, and we improved that one. Yeah. Yeah, it's cheaper than the last five year contract. I really miss that. If it was five dollars more, I think we would still do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's a good deal. So if you guys approve this quote, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I know. then I'll call her and she will email us the uh, contract. Okay. Then we don't need to make a motion. Do we need to make yeah, a motion? Yeah, I, I need a motion to approve the quote. I'll make a motion that uh, we approve the quote that they've given us, which is five dollars cheaper. You say thirty-two six fifty-six. Yeah, it was thirty-eight. Thirty-two six fifty-six. Six bucks. Need a second. Cheaper. Second. Motion has been made and properly seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say the same. Motion carried. Thank you. Uh, let me back up before we go to approval awards. Mr. Early, you got any 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 good words of wisdom from the sewer department? Well, things are running very nicely. We had, well, Doug had to replace the chlorine pump. And we did some maintenance on the air handlers, blowers, that was that did. He changed the oil. She helped. Good, Shake that... and bake, I helped. Did you have fun? Oh, no. <laughs> it was filthy. <laughs> no. We we are in our gloves out there? <laughs> oh, oh, gloves. Who wears gloves to work? Let's see, anything else? That, that's right. Oh, well. Oh, we had a chlorine line break. Yes. We replaced the chlorine line. And dewatered about 15,000 gallons of sludge from the digester. So who picks that up now? Highway 38, dumpster, is what they're called. And then oh, I seen them go by the house today. It says the Highway 38. Yeah. Didn't know what it was. Are they the ones that we had an issue with trying to get a dumpster down here at the main West station a bunch of years ago? No, no, no that was uh, uh, that a company right out here. of Indianapolis. Okay. They're, they're the ones. I think they're the ones you must have called when that organization yeah. couldn't do it. They brought it out here but with this, a semi instead of a record. Yeah. 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 This yeah. dumpster they bring out there to dewater in the sludge, mm -hmm. is it only used once for that dewatering, or is it used more than once? Oh, it's used all the time. It's got screens in it. You take it to the landfill, dump it. So how many dumps can we do before they have to come and get it? Oh, it's full. It's way down now. Ah, so is that three, four, what? No, that's one. Really? Yes. Like you said, what was it, about 14,000 or more than that? Somewhere in there. 14 or 15. Yeah, we run, we run 14,000 gallons, 1,000 gallons to it. Wow. And, and we send the water back to the plant and keep the sludge. People just don't appreciate poop. Well, you have to realize that when it goes into the box, it's only 1.7% solids. So the majority of it is water. It goes back to the plant. Right. And how often do you have to have the box? Two to three times a year. Two to three times a year. But it's a one shot deal when you get it. Fill it up, send Where it out. Does it go to a landfill? Yeah, it goes up to Randolph Farms. I, I didn't, I thought maybe farmers might have used it. Do they spread it or do they bury it? It's in the landfill, yep. They could use it for their methane. They, they were a methane out of there. Could be. Do they cover it up? Yeah. Is it stinky at this point? No. I didn't think it would be. No, it really doesn't. That plant doesn't have a foul odor to it at all. Until it starts opening up and dumping. No, it really doesn't have a foul odor to it. When I stood at the top of those stairs, it sure did. Ah. Huh? <laughs> you got a sensitive nose. Oh, do I ever. <laughs> I don't I smell it, do you? Germany. They had them walking sprayers and they sprayed the field of human waste so they sprinkled on your vehicles when you were driving down the road. Oh my god. <laughs> Just the way they did it over That's there. It worked for them. It worked for them. So. <laughs>
Okay, approval of warrants. I've got a question, if I may. Sure. What is the status of Opal Lawson's property, and what are we going to do about all the stuff that's been left in that yard? They, it is a menagerie. She's gone. I know, but it's been purchased and they're restoring it. There's a guy with a contractor license. Yeah, I've seen him down there. They're down they, there about every day loading up. He's stuff. loading stuff up. Another He's trailer load every day. Yep. Mm -hmm. They've been dragging stuff out of the barns while it looks like the yeah. yard's full. They're just dragging everything out, see what they got. One guy bought it from the ball, and then he is selling on contract to another person. Wow. Uh, whoever the guy is supposedly is a contractor. I don't know nothing else They're about They're going to restore that house. They said he's going to fix it. They're going to restore it to a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they take everything out of it and they fold up like a house of cards. I don't know. Maybe it's what's holding it together. So. I was in it ten years ago when I was still at the post office. I was in both of them last year. But, I mean, that backyard is a menagerie. It is full. Yeah, he's been, he or she has been taking stuff out. I'm sure that barn is to the ceiling. To the second floor ceiling. So she was a hoarder. That's, a, that's safe. That's a safe word, man. Safe. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. I heard she went over there. Van Rand? Van Rand. Yeah, where Barker went. Where Biscuit went. Biscuit's there. So that's a retirement home for people in Green's Fork? I think so. And they moved to Centerville. And they go to Centerville. Centerville's a nice little community. It is. Doug? Yes. What's the Wayne County sales? All the list of stuff. Yeah. And $356 also. We pull the uh, receipt and go. No, I just wanted to tell you off the top. And then I'll talk to Ed. I know uh, I broke the grinder up. You burnt my grinder up. That Amish place uh, off of 10 days ago. I broke that one up and the handout. I like to smoke out of both of them. Wouldn't we pay Tommy Ball with $500? I feel that one. I feel those holes for those stops. Go down and show the girl the road and throw the stops. Okay. Turn around and step in. You go around and ask curves and stuff. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, if we just put dirt in there, that place would have been seven for the next ten years. No, that's on swell. It's over. So it's past over. Go until dead end. Yeah.
You say his name is Gordon? Jordan. Jordan. She said Gordon. We said Jordan. Brown? Brown? Michael Gordon. Yeah, Becca. No. It's not Brown. And then when he comes on, who's going to train him? Between me and Becca. Between you and Becca? And, then, and Darlene. And then we'll get Darlene involved once we get him on the weekend. What's, what's Becca doing? She's training. She just helped, she helped train Cameron. Ah, okay. You still consider like a part time help if Doug gets in a bind. We've kind of we've never really released her. She's still on her insurance. She said she would help when we needed her, so she's still a. And she has. She's still an employee. Yeah. And don't cost anything to have her as an employee unless she works, and she hasn't worked, so it's money well spent. <laughs> What? We're not spinning. We're not spinning. How are you going to look at it? Also good to keep her in tune with what's going on. Excuse me? It's good to keep her in tune with what's going on if she does help. Yeah. Now, yeah, is Jordan going to take the job? As far as I know, yes. I haven't talked. I'm going to try to get with him tomorrow. Okay. Anybody have anything else they want to bring before the board before we adjourn the meeting? Hallelujah. Pardon me? Cholera? Hallelujah. Oh, he said cholera, he's going to bring some disease up. I'll make a motion we adjourn the meeting. I second it. Motion has been made proper second to adjourn the meeting. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say aye. Thank you.